Hey guys, it is Mendes here, and welcome to the fourth episode in our puzzle showcase of the daily puzzles of uh, Catriel Layton and the Millionaire's Conspiracy. Today we're going to be looking at Burger Bit Blitz, uh, which is a very difficult thing to say. Uh, uh, and we're going to have, be having a look at the first ten puzzles uh, and seeing what is in store for us. So again, the difficulty goes from uh, one to three. I'm expecting the grid size to be short on the first seven, the grid size to be small on the first seven puzzles, and then on puzzle eight it looks like we're probably moving up to the larger grid size. I don't know what this puzzle is going to be, uh, so let's have a look. The fa this fast food chef makes a mean burger, but he needs all the right bits and none left over. Let's see if my uh, my puzzle foo can help me recognize what is going on here. So, chef is making burgers with three ingredients. Press and hold A to put the ingredients together with horizontal and vertical lines. When a line goes through exactly one of each of the three ingredients, the line turns blue. So, yes, yeah, connect the lines to the things. Lines between ingredients can't cross each other. And if a line is red, it means the joined ingredients aren't correct yet. So you can remove a line at any time by selecting it. Gloves on. Let's get cooking. Okay. All right, this looks fairly this looks fairly straightforward. So, this is um, I don't know of a, an exact uh, allegory to this puzzle. It reminds me of something like Hashio Kakaru or something like that. That's uh, very line connecty, but it's it's obviously not. Um, it's maybe maybe classed as a variant of that, but mm, I think that would be a bit of a stretch, maybe. Uh, rather than making a complete network, uh, we are making little individual networks that can't overlap, which is which is cool, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think that, in fact, we can't even. So, I was thinking, I, I'm I'm coming up with uh, strategies on the fly here. So I'm just going to take you through my thinking. Uh, my initial thinking was that we could do something like that, but that is not a guarantee. Uh, I thought the corners might be a good place to start, but that is equally valid. So we can't start from that. Um, now what we can start from is these instances where there are two next to each other. Because if there are two next to each other, the only way that can form a line anywhere is by going that way. So, okay. Uh, we have the similar similar situation here, so that's got to be one complete network. <laughs> this actually might be a little bit challenging. Um, so this is essentially a mini network now that, that consists of burger and lettuce. The only way that can connect to a burger is that way. So we're going to have to be looking out for... Um, ooh, it's quite interesting. It is quite interesting. And I'm still I'm still kind of getting to grips with it. Uh, and what the implications are here. But let's try and come up with some rules for how, how to generically solve these puzzles. So, so far, I think we've uh, identified a critical starting case where if you do have... A uh, if you have any ingredient that can only connect to another ingredient one way, so like that, um, then it has to do that. That's pretty much the case. So that lettuce has to go that way, for example. Uh, this is now a little mini network. The only way it can connect to lettuce is that way. So all right, we're we're, we're picking up some uh, some starting rule set here so that's that that'll work uh, and I don't want to rely on uh, I, I want to use these smaller grids as an opportunity to test out a few rules and make sure that they logically follow from the um, from the confines of the puzzle because that'll make uh, larger grids a lot more easy to deal with so let's just start from that one so that one could only connect to that one uh, do we have any others that can only connect to one other thing? That one can only connect to that one. Uh, and this network can only connect to that. This network can only connect to that. So I'm feeling good about that starting point. Uh, this now becomes an, an enclosed network. So that can now only connect to that. And then this network can only connect to that. Uh... So that's good. <laughs> uh, see, it's very easy and it's very, very tempting right now to say that that's got to be a network. And maybe it's going to be, but there's no guarantee of that. So I'm trying to um, 
extol myself of those kind of assumptions. In fact, yeah, that's it's going to be, but there was always a possibility it wasn't going to be. <laughs> well, get those little gray cells working our way through it, I guess. <laughs> See, I'll get them right sometimes. I just need to get to a point, a point where I'm, uh, where I'm actually like catching myself uh, before I make these mistakes. Because that felt very... It felt logical, but it wasn't quite. So that'll go down there. Now that only connects to that. This network can only connect to a lettuce that way. Uh, this network now has two possibilities of getting a lettuce. Uh, this lettuce has to go that way. This network also has two, two ways of connecting to a burger. Uh, so what else can we do? That can only connect down there. And this network also got, has one way of going to a burger. All right. And that locks us into there, which locks that into there, and that into there. Cool. Starting to get into the swing of it. Uh, and yeah, I, now that I've got a bit more of a handle on the puzzle, it's not something that I have an exact analogy for, um, but I do think that Hashio Kakaru or... Uh, what else is it called? Bridges? is probably the closest analogy um, in terms of puzzles that I do know. So, I think I'm going to consider it a variant of that. I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. But it's a very loose variant, let's say. <laughs> Alright, we ready to go to the higher sizes yet? Not quite. Alright, we've got the Hardest difficulty. So this is going to be uh, the hardest difficulty small grid one. So let's see what it can throw at us. Usually when we get to these high, harder difficulties, we have to start thinking of um, new rules rather than just working through the process. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. This isn't going too bad right now. The only way that can be connected that way. That can go there. Wait, no, can it? No. I've made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, because I, I, I thought this was a closed network. It's not, because that's got to close there. Alright. I made a mistake, but at least I spotted it. <laughs> this puzzle's got some bite. Alright, and that's, that's the hardest one we're going to get for that. So let's go to the higher grid size, I guess. I'm assuming it's going to be a higher grid size. That would follow all the uh, the precedents that we've had before with with the previous uh, daily puzzles. Is that it gets harder, and then on the first larger grid, it starts to lower the difficulty a bit, just to kind of get you into the swing of uh, looking at these uh, larger grids. Okay, alright, alright, alright. I don't... I'm just kind of working my way through slowly, one by one. That's got to connect there. And I am... Um, the main reason I'm considering a Hashio Kakaru variant is because it is using a... Like, I feel like I am dipping into my Hashio Kakaru um, rule set when it comes to these lines. Uh, so at least I'm not starting from a completely blank slate when it comes to solving these. Uh, okay, the only way this can connect to a burger is to a patty is that way. That way. That needs a burger. That's good. Okay. Um, so in conclusion... And I don't know of any other puzzles that it necessarily reflects. If you know of a, one that fits closer, uh, let me know and I will do some research into it and I'll put it in the description if it is m more of a match for this. But I think that's a, it's a, it's a useful, uh, it's, a, it's a close analogy at the, for the moment. It's as close as I can get uh, using the confines of my head. This is a really interesting one. <laughs> so clearly they've gone for the aesthetic here uh, and they've gone for like a bit of a checkerboard pattern. Which I think looks really cool. Uh, but doesn't give us a ton to work with. So we're going to have to start from this bottom left corner. Because this is the only place where we've got these ones that 
don't connect out anywhere else. Uh, we can at least make a little bit of headway from this position. And you can see we're, we're kind of blocking off other areas very quickly. Uh, which is good. So what do we have here? That's got to go up there. The only way that can connect to a, bu a bun is that way. That's got to go there. And then this is just kind of its own little section in the middle. I like that. I, 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 I love the aesthetics of this one. <laughs> like that was very um, satisfying. <laughs> this fast fish has been been Yeah, okay. The end text again, same as the same as the input text. But we know this. I'm just going to assume that is going to be the case for all of them, because it probably is. Number ten. So this is going to be the last one we're going to do. Uh, that's the first one that immediately springs to mind because that burger, that patty can only go one way. That's got to go there, because that buns all the other ways. Uh, what else can we say about this particular project? Hmm. <laughs> I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot here. I don't have a lot to work with. Uh... I really don't have a lot to work with, do I? So both of these two networks that we've got started now have two possible ways they can go. Uh, there's two possible ways from there, two possible ways from there. That has to go up. And then this network has to get to a bun, which that's the only way it can be done. Alright, maybe that's going to help a little bit. Uh, although that doesn't seem to have actually narrowed down anything else. So let's keep having a look around. All right. Uh, there's going to be another starting point somewhere that I've not considered. Uh, I just really wish I knew where it was. <laughs> mm. Yeah, somehow I don't have this. That can go two ways. That can go two ways. That can go two ways. Uh, that can go two ways. Yeah, I don't have this one. I don't think there's any other guaranteed moves. I could have gone. Maybe it's just not a situation that we've run into before. Hmm. I'll be the first guy to speed up because I'm just struggling. The problem is this connection to there doesn't actually solve anything. Doesn't, stick, doesn't restrict anything else. Oh, actually, that goes to there, okay. If that connects to there, let's make this our assumption point. Uh, then that would have to go up there. And the only way that network can get to a thing is that way. Which would... Uh, Preclude this burger from getting access to any lettuce. That burger's that this bun's lettuce has to be this one. I don't think that's a necessarily obvious thing, but there is a connection there. Interesting. Okay. Now this only needs a patty, which again it's got two possibilities for. That can't go up now, but it didn't need to anyway. That could go left out. Hmm. Alright, so that doesn't fully help us out here. I guess we go back to... If we make this assumption, if we make that assumption that that's there, then that patty has to connect to that bun. And then the, this network can then no longer get a, a cabbage. So that can't be the case. Which means that's got to connect to there. I'm just, I, I wish there was a better way to figure that out than to run through the entire, um, run through the entire case. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's going to be there, it's going to be there. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, uh, I'm messing up. 
That was a hard one. I think there's definitely something there that I've not quite grasped. That was too easy. Um... Yeah, by, by making an assumption and following it through, I, I managed to stumble in on the solution, but I wasn't able to figure that out without actually, you know, going forward with an assumption. Which I really don't like doing. Like, I think that's great for learning new uh, rules, but I don't like to rely on it. Anyway, um, that is the fourth daily puzzle of Catria Lace in the Multi House Conspiracy, a burger bit blitz. Uh, it's very, um, like I say, it, it, it feel it has the, it has a very typical Nickelly feel. Uh, Hajo Kakar is the closest analogy that I have for it, uh, and it kind of did dip into a little bit my uh, puzzle solving techniques for that. But uh, it wasn't exactly perfect, uh, and I don't think it was. Um, I think there's probably more rules that we could extract from this, um, from this puzzle, because having to make those kind of assertions and yeah, seeing where they seeing where they end up, uh, Kind of a bit of a last resort for me. But anyway, uh, next time we're going to be looking at some snowmen, I think. I don't know what that's going to be all about. See you next time, folks.